Hello, welcome back to youtube.com slash blender classes. Been away for a couple of days, but now I'm back. Um, basically today I will show you how to model a short glass. You know those little things that people take shots? Well, we're gonna give you a go. Okay, first thing we're gonna do. Um, you have to have the new blender in order to do this. Um, the first thing we're going to do, go to File, go to Factory Settings. So you see the same screen as me basically. Now at the top here, you see where it has Blender Render. If you click it, we're actually going to be using the Circles Render for this tutorial. Okay, once you click it, what we're going to do, first thing, we're going to press number one to go into the front view and then press number 5 to go into the front auto dust camera view once that's done, we just zoom in quickly we're actually going to delete this cube and what we're going to do, we're going to go to the top click add, mesh I'm going to add a cylinder now we have our cylinder the first thing we're going to do Go back into number one, as in the front view, so I have to go to the orthodox view. And once that's done, you can go to this button here where you can select all the different modes. I'm going to go into edit mode. And then we will press Z to go into wireframe mode. A to this select and deselect. And what we're going to do, we're actually going to select these bottom vertices here. So press B on your keypad, or on your keyboard, and just use your left button mouse and just come and select these vertices at the bottom. Once that's done, press S to scale, and just bring it in, say to about, about here. Yes. Once that's done, press Z to go back into the normal mode. And what we're going to do, we're going to hit this face select. Go to the top face, press delete, and delete the face. Once that's done, you can see that we've got kind of the inside of the glass. Now what we're going to do, we're going to press 1 to go back into the front orthodox view. Actually, go back. We uh, actually now what we can do. See this button here, or using the tab key, tab button on your keyboard. Press it so you can go into object mode. And you see this icon here. If you scroll down, you can see smooth. So if you click it, it so will just smooth your glass a little bit. Well, basically to make it look more smooth. Once that's done, come up. Just bring this out a bit. Go back into object mode with your glass selected. See, once you have circles render, you'll be able to see this. If you go to add new material, which is right here, this ball. If you click new, where it says surface, we're going to click this and change this to glass. Once that's done, we can now go back here on the screen. And if you press 5, you can actually see your glass right there. So what we're going to do, you're going to take your mouse and place around, say around here with your left, left click. And I'm going to press Shift A. Same as going to the edge. So shift A mesh and you add a plane. Once that's done, you can actually press S to scale and just scale it out to say about there. Okay, we can just bring it in a bit. Okay, now that's done. Same thing with the mesh selected at the bottom of the plane. 
make sure you're on the material uh, editor click new and where it says um, diffuse is actually what we want to use so we can leave it there and this one we can give it like uh, say yellowish orangey type yeah so around there now once that's done you know, press number one and if you can see where your camera is which is right here and you have, you have to be noticed. So what we're going to do now oh, go back we're actually going to put our mouse button right here and place it there shift A go to mesh and the other plane once you've done that just make sure that it's on top of the camera. Once you've done that, you can just press R, rotate, so it's like facing the back of the camera. If you can see the camera is right there, so you can just rotate it this way. And what we're going to do, we're actually going to press S and just scale it out a bit. Once that's done, basically this is going to give us more lights. So, with it selected, after you've scaled it out, you come to the material editor again, click new, and where it says surface, we're actually going to change this and use emission. And once that's done, we can now see a sample of what we have. See this icon here? Like a little camera here. You can click render. And we'll see what we have. And as you can see, we kind of have like a short class there with the effect. But now what we're going to do, just go out quickly. We're going to come here and with this selected, we're going to go to the material section. And we're actually going to change this to 20. Once that's done, I'm actually going to do something here because I don't really like this orange thing. So what we're going to do, with this selected, we're just going to press Control E. Oh, we have to go into um, edit mode. Sorry about that. With this selected, press E. We're going <coughs> to press Control E. Mark seam. You see this mark seam icon here? Click it. Once that's done, come to this icon here and we'll go to UV editing. Once that's done, come back here with it selected, press U, unwrap, and you have your unwrapped mesh here. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to back here at the top, go back into the default mode, and we're actually gonna come to the texture area here. Actually, we can actually come here. Go out to this. Oh, this selected actually. We can go. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, here we, uh, is it here? Yes. Once it's, um, you have this selected, come to the color, click this icon right here. You see this icon here? And you go to image texture. Once you go to image texture, you can click open, find where you have your picture located or wherever you want to put in there. So mine's in the desktop, and I've got this nice wallpaper here which I'll be adding, so I'll just click it twice. And we go down a bit where it says vector, click it, and you click UV. 
Once that's done, you can come to the top, go to UV editing, image, open, desktop, simply so you have your image. Click this twice, and as you can see, our plane at the bottom has got this um, wallpaper around it. So now if you go back into the default mode, and um, if you press zero on your camera, because I actually want to catch all of this, so what we're going to do, we're going to go into object mode, select this and this, bring it up, just scale it down a bit, to say around there. And once that's done, I'm actually going to do something. I'll click this, Shift D, which duplicates your glass. And on the X axis, just bring it up to say about there. So we'll basically have two instead of one. And now, another thing which I want to do, we can actually click the mesh at the bottom and just bring it up to. Uh, Say around there and just bring it here. And if you press zero again, you can select this, this, and this. And just bring it up and this, and just bring it like this. Bring it down, and that's fine. So press zero to go out. Come to your <coughs> this lovely camera here and click render and see the results. And as you can see, it has started to um, render the image. And that's our results.